Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be going over my top 10 Cool Math Games games. Now, obviously, Pop Tropica is on Cool Math Games, but I'm not going to include it on the list. Obviously, it's number one. You already know this. You sub for Pop Tropica content. But before we start, I'm going to level with you. I know, other than Pop Tropica content, the only reason you all subscribed is for the O. I know I'm the boring one, I know I'm less exciting than the yo, but I think I have come up with a way to fix that. So, what I have here is my interdimensional computer. It can allow you to go on any website in the whole multiverse. We've got Me Cylinder, Tesla, Urban Thesaurus, but the website we're going to be looking at today is Dimensional Discord. A simple website where you put in your name, what version of yourself you'd like to talk to, then bam, you get to talk to them. So I think it's about time we get started. Ready? Let's go! The 10th game on our list isn't just one game, but rather a group of games, specifically the oldies. Chess, checkers, ping pong, and pool. It's all the fun of these classic games minus the need to have any friends. If you do have friends, you can play with them too. Just click play with friends and get a code and bam, you can beat your friends in your favorite game and earn bragging rights for centuries. To demonstrate the joy of these games, we're gonna talk to someone who truly understands classic games. Ladies and gentlemen, straight from the dimension where people age backwards, old me. Ooh. Uh, me? Hello? Are you there? Isaac, wake up. Isaac, Isaac! Bwah! Who's there? Uh, Isaac, it's me. Oh, Phil! I'm so glad you called. Uh, what? How's the kids? Um, fine. Oh, that's just lovely to hear. Let me tell you what happened to me at the store a few days ago. So I was sitting in the checkout line, minding my own business, when this little kid came up and started grabbing things out of my cart. Of course, I was outraged, so I demanded to speak with the child's manager. Turns out the child doesn't have a manager and instead brought his mom to me. Of Course, okay. I did Clearly old me isn't a great person to call. To I'll have to think of someone better at number nine. If you didn't have the childhood experience of arguing with your best friend over who is going to be Fireboy because Water Girl is a girl and thus she's lame, then you've had a very sad childhood. And if you willingly chose Water Girl, you're a simp now. There's no way around it. Anyway. Who doesn't love the simplistic puzzles that created and tore apart friendships for years? The beauty of this game comes with comes from the challenge being in the required teamwork and not in the puzzles the game presents. While replaying the game for this video, I decided to try and replay this game by myself. Sadly, it's not nearly as enjoyable. So, we're going to have to figure out a version of me who has played the game recently. How about a version of me who was born in 2008? That way, today, they'd be in about 6th grade, which is when I played the game the most. Plus, if old me was a terrible co-host, it would make sense young me would be great. Um, hello? Ew, is that a Steven Universe shirt? Shouldn't you be making dumb YouTube videos or something? Actually, it's funny you should- Shut up, old man, I'm about to get a victory royale. Wait, are you playing Fortnite? Yeah? You don't? No. No. That's not true. That's impossible. Heck yeah, victory royale in your face. No! So clearly, I can't choose the version of me solely based on the game I'm talking about. Who would be the perfect co-host? Mm, while I think about it, let's get to number eight. Another game that truly encompasses my childhood is Wheelie. The fun plot and puzzle. Hi there, I'm Digital Isaac. That wasn't your cue, Digital Me. Isaac, let's be real. Everyone knows I'm the real star of this channel. I'm even in more videos than you. 
That's not even close to being true. Of course it is. Now let Digital Isaac do his thing. Number seven is grab them by the eyes. With its simple, fast gameplay and goal, anyone can hit play and be done in 20 minutes. Fun story, the first time I played, I actually missed the fact you could make multiple signs, thus I lost. But it was still a fun game. One of the best parts of this game is that you and your opponent are taking turns buying from the same store. And the longer you wait to buy something, the cheaper it becomes. These two things combined make for a slightly more thought-provoking game as you try to get what you want for as cheap as you can without your enemy snatching it up first. To discuss this game, we'll have a version of me from another dimension. Normal Isaac! Digital me, give me my video back. No, I don't think I will. Wait a minute. What if I just stop voicing you? Wait, what? Note to self. Stop voicing digital me at this point. <laughs> Thank goodness I was able to shut him up. Now let's get to number six. Number six is a great game most people have already heard of. There is no game. With its great meta-ness and comedy, when I heard they would be making a sequel, I was overjoyed. Such a great game means I need a great co-host to talk about it with. So I figured, to play off my personality, I would need someone more intense and edgy. So I'd like to introduce to you all, Edgy Isaac. Actually, there is no Edgy Isaac. What? I'm looking right at you. It was a joke, idiot, because the game is called There Is No Game. Are you just going to insult me the whole time? Most likely. You suck. But I'm just you minus the edge. Which is exactly why you suck. I am not loving the energy you're bringing to this video, Edgy Isaac. Well then I'll leave! It has come to my attention that the alternate Isaacs are the worst people I've ever had to interact with. Therefore, the only co-host that can redeem this video is me. Okay, so Isaac, care to tell us a little bit about yourself before we get into number five? Well, by my understanding, our dimensions are exactly the same, excluding the fact that in mine, reality TV Safari ended up being the best Pop Tropica island so far. Hmm. Sounds like Theo's paradise. Anyway, could we hurry this up? I still need to film your lines for the video, and it's supposed to be uploaded tomorrow. Wait, what do you mean? I need to film your lines. Uh, no. I'm the real Isaac, not a character made up for this video. No, I'm the real Isaac. I can prove it to you. What's your favorite color? Um, I guess I don't know. Exactly, because you're a made-up character with no backstory. But, do you know what your favorite color is? Well, of course, it's... Hang on, I'm having trouble remembering. So you're not real either! Wait, you're right! Ah! Ah! I really need to start of thinking of better ways for videos to end rather than screaming. Mmm, nah, screaming's fine. But now, how do I finish this video? Ooh, I know. I'll just show me writing the script and saying these things to myself. Yeah, that's a great ending. Wait. Does that mean I'm not real either?